Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. In the last video, creepy robo adjutant lady over here, we were uh, finally able to decipher the uh, secrets or the codes to her secrets or whatever, and get some uh, audio, get an audio recording that might be able to uh, let us take down Manx, so that's pretty exciting. I don't think there's anything else we could talk to her about, but let's see what uh, happens. Oh, she, she's just like breaking down. That's kind of weird. Interesting. Well, also this Protoss tank started to electrify. Uh, once again, not gonna read that, but I'll let you guys go ahead and take the time to pause it if you are at all interested in doing so yourselves. Then, let's go ahead and see what research we got! Seeing as the thing popped up like that, we definitely, definitely do have some Protoss research completed! Oh, I don't know why, but I'm actually like double excited for the Protoss side than I am from for the Zerg one. So I am pretty hyped for what um we're gonna start getting out of these. Let's see what we got here. Um, ultra capacitors and um vanadium plating. Interesting. Weapon upgrades in the armory and engineering bay increase attack speed by five percent, in addition to increasing damage. Okay, so they just increase damage um, as a bare bones thing, and this means they also have increased attack speed. Um, armor upgrades in the armory and engineering bay increase life by 5% in addition to increasing armor. Funny enough, like I've said before, usually I like to go for the more aggressive side of things with these, but in this one's case... I think we're actually gonna go for the armor because that'll increase the effective uh, that that should increase the um effective power of medics in the early game and I love medics so and I guess like SCVs that, that if this also includes uh, units outside yeah armory and engineering base so it should also be vehicles so uh, but attack speed for vehicles would be nice as well I don't know I think we'll actually go for the armor for this one I think a five percent. Uh, but attack speed is also so cool. I don't know. I'm such a sucker. I'm such a sucker Let's go for the armor just because I said I was gonna get it. Let's actually see this. Uh, we'll watch the little animation for both of them So I imagine it's a case scenario where this fire bat would have been killed in this fight otherwise um, But he was actually able to survive man. He actually is surviving forever. I Mean of course that means it's in addition to the engineering bay upgrades but still, wow, that is pretty intense. Then, then let's watch this. So those, I, I haven't had experience with the Marauders yet, so I don't know exactly how fast they fire, and it didn't look all that substantial to me. And that's not two Stalkers fighting against two Marauders at the beginning of the fight. That's a two-on-one with, with a second uh, Stalker coming in a little bit late. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this is very impressive. I think the uh, uh, Vanadium plating uh, looks a lot more impressive to me. So we're going for that upgrade. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I think that's all we need in the laboratory. So anything else for us here? Yeah, more news and take us again. So let's go for the news first, as always. Emperor. Much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Talosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains, the Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tulowski's film highlights the seeming convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes. I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next, 
Zerglings allergic to lemon juice? Old wives' tale? Or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? Oh my god, if that's the thing, we need to do that! It'll be good for the bar, and for war efforts, of course. But, um, I really like how that's called Manx Talks. I don't know why, that just seemed really, really silly to me. Tychus, what's up with you, bro? I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Manx? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Manx be a force for change. I fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line. By using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. Yeah, seriously. Jim has had some serious, serious bad luck in his career. Okay, Doki Artich. Oh, a spider mine! We get to see the spider mines! Oh, they look so cool! Look at them! Just meandering all over the place, crawling all over the floor, showing off their style. Only got four legs for being a spider, but you know what? I guess I, I guess I can't complain. Um, sometimes I like to consider myself a spider, but I only have four legs, so woe, woe is me. Oh, oh it's, it's a tragic, tragic, it's a tragic story in a tragic, tragic life. But anyways, what's up, Swan? The mercs are still using vultures. Can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart-ass swan. <laughs> I guess, say hey, personally, I'm the side, uh, I I'm on Swan's side with this one. Not a big fan of vultures, personally. We will honestly probably never touch them again. But we might as well go ahead and check their upgrades. See if the upgrades are so powerful that I'll need to use them. Even if they are, probably won't. I think the Diamondbacks seem way, way cooler, even though I would say the vultures definitely have more utility. Diamondbacks are just so cool. We've got, um, Cerberus Mine increases Mine Blast and Trigger Radius by 33%, and Vultures can replenish mines in the field at a cost of 15 minerals per mine. I don't like either of those. We are never using Vultures again. We are also never using Hellions again, so... <laughs> say goodbye to these two units for almost certainly. I, I apologize if anyone out there is a fan of them. I know they both are very, very good units, just not my type of thing. Um, what was this with the Viking? Vikings? Oh yeah, that was additional range. Ah, uh, there's no way we're gonna be able to get that along with the Diamondback upgrade. That sucks, because I really like Diamondbacks. I think we're gonna continue to use them, and Goliaths, for sure. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, anti-personal charge with a large blast radius. Um, okay, yeah, 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 those are the, like, charge mines that you can blow. I forgot about those. Not gonna get those, don't really care about those anymore. I actually think we're going to forget about the uh, advanced medic facility upgrades. I think, like, for reasons that I mentioned before, I think that's actually kind of something that's kind of completely pointless at this point in the game. Okay, so what do we want then? Do we want ghost range, or do we want to fully upgrade the diamondbacks? Plus 50 life. I think for starters... But, but, I probably wouldn't want to use that unless I get, like, a whole bunch of ghosts. But ghosts are also so good. You know what? Yeah, let's get the ghost upgrade. We'll prepare for the Diamondback one next, unless there's some other units that I would rather, uh, get an upgrade for in the future. So let's go ahead and check out what's on the bridge. Matt Horner still has nothing to say! He's, he's, you know what's going on with Matt Horner? I, I know he didn't have anything to say in the last video, so this doesn't make entire sense, but he's, like, thinking about that girl that was in love with him and the, uh, that mercenary girl, and he's being all, like, he, he's, he's, like, stuck in his own thoughts. He's like, do I really love her? I mean, she's kind of annoying the way she's, like, crazy about me, but I don't know, I'm a big stickler for girls who have one orange-red 
Robo Eye. I don't know. I guess it's his his thing, his turn on or whatever. So he, he's stuck thinking about that. So he's got no time for thinking to gym. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what we've got. I don't know if we'll be able to do Monolith right now. I thought there would be another mission that open up. Probably has to do with the uh the stuff that we did in the the last one. The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Manx ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx's war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. The Odin? That sounds pretty crazy. I have actually never heard of wraiths before. I have never seen this enemy type. Highly mobile flying units, excellent at uh, surgical strikes. Okay. Um, it doesn't say if it does gra uh, ground attacks, so I'm pretty sure it's only an anti- Oh wait, no, no, no! Can attack ground and air units. It doesn't say down there, it says right up there. That is awesome! I've been looking forward to getting an air unit that can attack uh, air and ground, so who knows? We actually might end up using this more than the Vikings, but the Vikings seem pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out this mission. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Our team of three sure freaking this, dudes, apparently. Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. And if he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super heavy siege walker designed for crawling. Oh! Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! All right, we're gonna be taking control of Tychus. That sounds awesome. I've gotta say, though, I don't think this mission is gonna go very well, seeing as uh, what we know about Tychus and how he was freed from his prison, or more importantly, who freed him from prison, so... Uh, especially with that line, we cannot risk word of this getting to Core Hall. I got a feeling that word of this is going to end up reaching Core Hall, but who knows? We'll just have to see what happens. In the meantime, got medics. We've got Tychus to use. Can I select Tychus? I cannot. I can't select Tychus. Oh, that ruins all the fun of him being in this mission. Oh, that is the most butt situation on the planet. That makes me mad. We are already losing Marines, so uh, that's kind of crummy. Get, get out, get, go, dudes. Um, we definitely want to make sure that everyone stays together. Hello, civilians. How's it going? I guess those are just weird scientists. Um, find devour. Oh, get devour tissue. Is that one right there? Oh, that totally is. It's just encased in that thing. Sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Activate the autos! Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. I'm on it. Oh god, Tychus is right in the flames! Careful there, Tychus. Honestly, actually, now that I'm- n n Now that this mission is, like, really getting underway, I'm starting to think that what might actually be the best, um... Units to keep alive would actually possibly be our medics. Oh, Tychus just needs to go. Oh, is he gonna command it now? Oh, shoot. We got an Odin. We got an Odin, boys and girls. This is going to be amazing. I'm surprised they didn't uh, have it better defend. Oh, damn. I can't wait to get inside that thing and tear this place up. <laughs> I like the immediate paint job. Let us get a support force up there to cover you. Oh, that's true! We actually don't have any SCVs here! So is the Odin basically just like an altered Thor? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Because it looks a lot like a Thor. Stand down! Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. 
Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. Oh, God. Okay, the fact that he also has uh, his uh, transmissions off or whatever. Um... Ah, you scared me! Okay, so we got to keep him alive. Interesting. We can't control him still? Where do units in here go? What happened to them? Do they, like, have a heart attack when they saw Tyga start destroying those things? That doesn't make... Oh, get it, get it. No, go back to harvesting minerals, you idiots. Oh, they're all right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was... I was really confused for a second there. I was like, did our guys just, like, I don't know, get on... Get on paid vacation or something like that? That was silly. Oh, shoot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we actually already have a bunker set up right, right off the bat. So let's grab, um... Uh, how many more marines do we need? We need two more after that guy goes in. So you could go, you could go. Now that those two are Sir, going to be joined together, let's get them both in there. An intercept course with the Odin. Hey, battle cruisers? Fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop. Oh shoot! Right off the bat, we got the wraiths in. Fight! Fight! Oh god, you guys get out of there. Actually, they don't seem to be targeted at all. So actually, I think they'll, they're going to be perfectly okay. Yeah, they are not targeting our marines at all. That is actually pretty pretty nice. You guys get in there and just lay an extra couple of hands. Might have might as well actually even use the stim packs on them. Seeing as they aren't really getting attacked, not going to be in much of any risk. And then now that that's down, we could go ahead and start moseying back along. Oh, I'm ri all right. Oh, wait, wraiths have cloak. So do actually like all air forces except for Vikings have cloak? Because these are definitely not the dudes that we used uh, in the the mission in the past. Oh shoot. Okay, these guys all need to go into cloak if they're going to fight. I thought that they'd actually be able to take down a couple of dudes without needing to worry about it, but apparently, um, wraiths do not have very much uh, ground strength. Can you hear me? Roger. Well, if you ain't gonna tell me not to have a little fun, I'm gonna have a little fun. <laughs> oh my god, Tychus, don't do this! Don't be a big old negative poopy pants. We don't need you messing up anything that's going on with our base. Okay, whatever. Let's get our tech labs going. Oh, shoot! Okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, of course we could have built a, built a starport before, but I'm just happy that we have one right off the bat. I think we're not going to utilize a Hercules for a while, but I think we might need to go ahead and build a Hercules at some point. I would really like to do it in this mission, but I got a feeling that this is not going to be a very good mission for utilizing the Hercules. So, I was actually, uh, when I was first saying that, I was totally, like, thinking in my mind, yeah, we're gonna use Hercules in this mission, without a doubt, but actually, it probably would not be the smartest, uh, thing in the world to actually go ahead and do. Um... We're getting to the point where here, let's pull these guys out of cloaks. They they could they could handle the rest of these enemies without losing any of them. We could, if we wanted to, also just go ahead and pull back some of them, which actually might be a good idea. Let's let's pull back that dude, and then we can we can leave that other guy in. He'll he'll be fine. Because I I don't really see much of a reason to use up cloak right now, even though they do all have a lot of energy on them. I don't know, we'll just have to go ahead and consider that, um, as time goes on. In the meantime, there's, uh, we'll just use 11 SCVs for that for now. We'll build one SCV, put them right there, so we could actually get started on the supply depots. In the meantime, this is going to be a very heavy Wraith mission, for sure. I'm going to hope that we don't need to worry about, uh being like backdoored and attacked by the enemies right here and that the only actual defense is in front that we'll need is that bunker just to be safe though we should actually probably send those marines right on down there awesome good work scb buddy keep on repairing that thing my friend uh i appreciate all of your help and those guys are doing pretty well for themselves and well you know what actually we should probably go ahead and chill oh god no 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 i didn't mean to do that we should probably go ahead and chill these guys with these guys and some of this damage starting to feel a mite sluggish does he always talk this much sir <laughs> never shuts up oh uh, well, I love that guy I'm gonna take me a little break good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment 
He's got a soda in there! Okay, that... I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty badass. <laughs> that is pretty freaking cool. Let's grab these guys. Um, seeing as these two are now fully healed, we'll just pop them or get them to pop a squad right on over here. Honestly, honest we. What am I talking about? Honestly, we actually probably should also build one more SCV and pop them off right over there. Then we're definitely, definitely going to focus mainly on working on uh. Uh, making sure that we get some Vespian, because we really, really, really need additional Vespian to start going for us before we, uh, engage in any future fights and stuff like that, especially seeing as our bunker is actually already starting to be attacked. Uh, didn't really take any damage at all, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, that one's fully healed now as well. Awesome. Just send you on out. Um... Interesting, Tychus. Whatever you say. Odin's been it's fully repaired. I think, uh, it's... No, no, you are wrong, game. We totally have enough Vespian, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you were just straight up wrong, game. Here's our Vespian gas, and now let's, uh, build some additional stuff with that. Just to be safe, let's actually go ahead and build a second bunker right here, because honestly... I don't really see much of a reason not to. That means these medics are just co gonna be a little bit irrelevant for the uh, time being, at least. Might as well build um, a couple more of our dudes then as well. Uh, might as well get five of them, I think. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be a good amount. Or uh, a good amount for that. Tychus is getting ready to get back into the fight, so we should send all of our... Uh, all of our remaining wraiths to go ahead and help with dealing with that. Go ahead and fight right there. Wraith, you need to get out there as well! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh god, Tychus is already taking a lot of damage here. Let's uh, go into Cloak. And actually, I think we should go ahead and make that uh, medevac uh, go ahead and melt right off the bat. That's probably a good way to go ahead and start off that combat. So, um, we won't have to worry about any of those shenanigans. Uh, right? Wait, wait, wait. It, actually, here. Everyone will go into Cloak. We'll just keep on on Cloak for a teeny bit more time. And we'll use these guys on Cloak to actually go ahead and scout the area for, um, enemies and bunkers and stuff like that. Who's attacking him? I think it was just one little guy, actually, so not really much to worry about. Uh, we still need- to Oh, there's another one of the thingamadoo hickeys! Okay, that's actually one- That's what, um... That's what mercenaries and dudes are going to be good for. So was there actually one of them in here? I don't see it! So let's not actually get ready for the, the fight quite yet. Oh, shoot. Oh, why aren't you... Oh, he ran out of energy. Okay, cool. We need to take these guys out of Cloak. There's no reason to have them in Cloak at that point. They might take a little bit of damage, but the damage will be worth it uh, to go ahead and finish off any enemies. So this will actually be our scouting party for making sure that we get all of our Zerg research that we possibly can. Um, Just to double check, there definitely wasn't any more in here. Because I actually totally almost forgot about that. Uh, find and destroy the Loki? I did not realize that there was going to be a Loki on this no map. I have no idea what that is. Can you bring me a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. Hell yeah, bro! We're gonna do all the, the lab finding stuff. <laughs> I guess apparently I had no idea where I was going to go with talking about that. But anyways, you can go ahead and get back to base. Get back to that good old... SCV bro over there, send in the rest of them. Um, I don't think we need to worry about Tychus. Oh no, Tychus is actually still going in. Interesting. Reckon you boys will need some time to catch up. Oh, never mind. Okay. Do you have another soda? He does not appear to have another soda. That makes me a little sad. What? Oh god, checkpoint. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! Um... Oh hello, jerkwads! Prepare to die! You've got no anti-air defense, bros! You're going down big time! And that SCV is going to easily handle everything else there. Here, let's cloak and do a little preemptive strike on this uh, bunker right here. If we get that out of the way, that should make remaining things a hell of a lot easier for Tychus. They're sending a lot of uh, forces out to get us. We honestly might want to consider either uh, building up the additional SCV forces over there um, to go ahead and, of course, uh, make sure that... Um, that thing is well defended. That bunker is well defended. Or 
we might want to actually build a second bunker because I don't really see much of a reason not to build a second bunker. Right now, though, our wraiths are actually going to do some serious damage. Suck it, bros. Suck it. Okay. Um, let's send these guys down here. Might as well grab that Vespian, especially since I've been a horrible, horrible player and have kind of totally forgotten about, uh, the Vespian gas. So let's get two more SCVs going on that. Might as well continue our work on, um, supply depots or houses as, as well. So, yeah, we can actually only build one more Wraith because I've taken way too long to get to work on that. Here, let's, um... No, we're gonna move these guys back there. I want to put them somewhere safe so I don't have to worry about him. And actually, the SCB can join them as well for the for the time being at least. All right, let's go ahead and get to some exploring work. I definitely, definitely want to locate that that Thor. Um. Ah, Tychus, I don't want you to start yet. I mean, I guess actually we have all the time in the world right now to find that additional one. Because we actually do still have three more uh, bases to destroy. So it's not like we're at any risk at this point, but still. Oh, okay, Tychus is going in. He's going in and he's going in heavy. So I don't think we need to cloak quite yet. We're going to try to save our cloak for some more... Preemptive strikes, like I mentioned before. Oh, yeah, sending all the Reapers you got, buddy. They're gonna be pretty much completely useless. Oh, he blew up the Marine. Our one and only threat basically got completely obliterated by Tychus because he is the manliest of all men right now, and he actually has not taken much of any damage. Kind of wish he would conserve his energy a bit, though, because I want to be able to utilize that. Um, for a second I actually thought that was the Thor right there. Oh shoot! Okay, we need to take down the Marine! Get him out of there so we don't take any damage. Everything else, honestly, I think Tychus is gonna be able to handle by himself, so let's take out the Metapack. Might as well get, uh, might as well get rid of the... Oh shoot! Or, or the battle! Here, 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 Invis, Invis, Invis. We definitely need to be cloaked. That, um, because otherwise that battle cruiser is going to deal us way way too much damage. I mean, really, it's not like it is anything that we wouldn't be able to handle, but I don't, I don't want to take that additional damage, so it's, it's better for us and pretty much everyone involved just to go ahead and get rid of those guys right away. Get out of here, marine scum! I don't want to deal with any of your shenanigans. Uh, I don't know, just get out of this party. Get out of this party, bro! We don't want to deal with your nonsense! Oh, nice! Hello, Diamondback. Goodbye, Diamondback. That poor, poor fool basically didn't even stand a chance to begin with. Is there anything up here? Since we actually haven't uh, explored the tippy, tippy top of the map. Tychus? Oh, shoot. He's actually taking a lot more damage than uh, I thought he had. Uh, so I guess next time he... Uh, here, let's take... Oh, can we shoot that thing down? Yeah, take down the speakers. We probably shouldn't actually do that. Let, let's focus on the main things. We actually cannot let Tychus take much of any more damage, so, uh, why do I have a Wraith over there? Go! Get over here, buddy! You need to join the party. And let's actually go ahead and get that SCB out there and have him start working on healing up Tychus, because I'm not all that happy, uh, that I would want to or, or feel the need to go ahead and start healing up Tychus, but I think I actually definitely need to, uh, consider it, to say the least. Wow! There's actually a couple more dudes remaining here. SCB, heal him up! Heal him up! Uh, yeah, that Wraith is actually going to be perfectly safe where it is. Let's... Oh, shoot! I actually did not realize they had a siege tank. That is probably where a really big chunk of all that damage was coming from in hindsight, but whatever. It all worked out, and really, it's one of those things where as long as everything works out okay in the end, there isn't really much of uh, any concern for us, to say the least. So, um... Tychus is gonna handle the rest of that. Let's grab you. Get everyone all grouped up. Make you control group one. Ah, these guys are barely hurt. I actually feel confident in keeping them in the group. Move the SCV right there. Let's destroy that thing. Yeah! How'd you like that? Now your radio broadcasts are going to be... Oh! Oh, the SCV right there is healing him! That's awesome! Thank you, SCV, bro! 
Uh, I would really prefer you to heal Tychus, though, because Tychus is certainly, unfortunately, the more important one, at least for the time being. We need to get more stuff going. I've taken way, way, way too much time on all this. In fact, you know what? We've got all the minerals in the world, so let's actually grab another SCB, and we are going to go super heavy-duty, um, like, SCB, uh... Uh, building supply depot usage. And so we're going to send basically all of our wraiths over there, where they should do a pretty good job, I imagine. Let's actually go ahead, though, and grab one more SCV as well and use him to go ahead and heal. With that in mind, I think we're actually going to go ahead and get two more SCVs and have them work on uh, all those minerals. Because I don't want us... I, I, I don't want us to run mineral dry, you know? I want us to keep the minerals going, but, uh... I mean, I want us to be have be able to use SCBs for other things, but I don't want us to uh, end up running out of uh, mineral resources. Let's actually send our wraiths over all the way over there because I don't really want to bother with uh, carrying them back and forth like I was doing before. You, my good sir, can go ahead and get to building once again. That guy's pretty close to finishing off his task, but I don't think we need to worry about that. SCB is almost completed. Um. So we'll have that SCV deal with the wraiths first, then he'll go ahead and gather all those minerals. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going for a preemptive strike again. You join us. Let's go ahead and start attacking these, these dirt robots. Oh, God, okay. Don't want to deal with it. That's a... Oh, shoot. That's actually... Oh, shoot, a battle cruiser. Okay, let's take that thing down first. So we won't have to worry about la that later. But there was also a ghost down there. There he is! Okay, let's kill that ghost. I don't want any snipers coming through. Snipers, no sniping. I'm hitting my stride now. Okay, here we go. I don't know if Tychus just gets started whenever you fully heal him. I kind of hope that he doesn't, but... <laughs> Right now, it looks like that's the case. So that SCV, we need to get him out of here. You, go ahead. Um, grab that, grab that, grab that. And then you could go ahead and part ways with everyone else. Grab that additional final wraith. And now let's get in on uh, the, bee, the bee's knees over here. So we'll cloak once more because I think um, I may be wrong. But if I was to love you guess, the cloaking is probably going to be... Actually, no, not at all. I was going to say if I was to love you, I guess I would guess that the cloak would be the most necessary right off the bat. But actually, we pretty much kind of uh, decimated all the enemies before they were any uh, severe threat to us or anything. Oh shoot, anti-air. Take you down, boy! No Vikings are gonna deal with us. Okay, let's let's finish this the, the base off because that's probably going to do, deal uh, quite severe amounts of damage to our, um, our Odin buddy. Thank you for taking all that out. And, um... I, yeah, we could get out of Cloak. There's no reason to go ahead and maintain that for the time being. Uh, we've got... Oh, oh, shoot, I actually didn't even notice the uh, destroyed battle cruiser right there. That's pretty cool. Bad news? Bad oh, news? What's the bad news, buddy? What's up with that? <laughs> He's like, bad news, but then he didn't end up saying anything. Okay, you build uh, one more of those. One more bunker. They're all over Tychus. We gotta go ahead and start helping him. Apparently, we already are. Let's cloak. We're losing way, way, way too many dudes. In fact, you can go ahead and get back to base. Make sure you stay good and healthy. Let's actually send uh, a couple of the other ones back as well. I think we'll keep the rest of them. We'll change this into the new command group. So we won't have to worry about uh, accidentally bringing the rest of the party back. Or the rest of the class back, per se. Come on, Supply Depot! I want to destroy this house! Our dudes are so freaking weak. Okay, so apparently, really, all that uh, wraiths are good at, for the most part, is actually anti-air combat. Which, actually, you know what? It's kind of pretty fine by me. I I'm, I'm really liking these wraiths so far, because they just are so powerful when it comes to... That, when it does come to that anti-air combat, we need to take down the space. Whoa, whoa, what was destroyed over there? I actually totally didn't even notice that. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, why? Oh no, they're still cloaked! Go that ahead, sucks! Man. Get out of the cloak, bo boys! Um, and then we could send Great you two ahead. back to the group. That'll be good for us. And, uh, yeah! 
Actually, let's have that guy solo kill that dude as we send the rest of these dudes or uh, the rest of these wraiths just to explore and make sure that there isn't anything to find up here. There's the Loki! Okay, we found the Loki! Oh god, it's rising! Okay, Loki is angry and getting ready to strike. That guy's super wounded, so we need to get him out of there. Let's grab everyone and get ready to fight. Come on, get in Invis! Get in Invis! Take out the Loki! He can see through our Invis! Oh god, he's gonna destroy all of our wraiths! Okay, well I guess we we'll might as well just have the rest of them fight. We need to build so many wraiths now, that is really, really bad for us. Yeah, Tychus, I don't really know what to say about that. Let's in fact actually pull this guy out. Oh, he might die first. He might die first! He strong anti-air capabilities. Oh, shh. Scramble more wraiths from the starport. If we have enough, we can handle those battle cruisers. Okay, uh, if the wraiths don't really have strong anti-air capability, I mean, if the Odin doesn't really have strong anti-air capabilities, I'm really frightened about this. We re Here, let's move him to the side, and then we're gonna go in. Might as well take off the cloak. Yeah, he pretty much just poses a distraction. Oh, God, we need to get that SCV back in. Where's the SCV? There he is. Run! Run! Ah! You run, too! Invis, just in case it helps. I'm pretty sure it doesn't help at all, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, God, now our SCV is under attack. Here, you get up. Oh, never mind. He's leaving. Go in and fight. Oh, my God. Okay, thank the Lord. Apparently, Odin beats Loki. There goes another Wraith. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We accomplished that, we accomplished that task, and that's really... Uh, completely honestly what matters the most right now but actually if, if there was oh no we're out of Vespian now okay we really need additional units let's uh uh set a rally point move it right there get three additional new scvs going <laughs> he's using the restroom in there he is a tychus is a silly silly man in the meantime we need to build another starport uh then let's grab these dudes we're going to move him on down over here. Is the SCV alive? I don't think he is. Yeah, SCV's down. We need to build another SCV just for that then. Okay, we're getting him out of there. He's going to go and start healing up Tychus. Tychus needs it really bad. Insufficient. And we need Vespian gas so bad too. Oh lord, this is going to be a pretty scary mission. But I think we're I think we're uh, going to be okay. Um, we just definitely, definitely, really, really need to, uh, pick up the pace. I can't wait to dig into that! Uh, scientifically, I mean. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Whatever you say, Robin. St I, I, I haven't confirmed whether or not that is the same voice actor or not, but I'm pretty sure that it is indeed the same voice actor. I'm hoping you're ready this, uh, because I'm hen- No! Tychus, you idiot! Oh, God! That is really bad. Uh, where- did that other SCV die? Oh, Lord. We need to get SCVs on Tychus. That is really, really bad. That is absolutely horrible. There's the, there's another battle cruiser. Get down there, Wraiths! Okay, um... We need to change our... We need to change our, our rally point for the Wraiths. Because, uh, right now, Tychus is really telling me that he wants to go ahead and lose this mission for us. Because apparently Tychus is a silly Billy Papa Chili who does not listen to, uh, logical things in the world. But you know what? As long as we keep these wraiths and use them very, very well, basically use as much of our invis as we can, I think we might be able to hold out okay. Uh, you two, get on work, on, get to work on that. Build all the wraiths! Insufficient Vespian gas. Insufficient Vespian gas. We could build a tech lab though, so uh, our second wraith, or like, uh, we'll be able to split up the work on the wraiths pretty soon. Here, I don't think we need SCBs any, I mean, I don't think we need additional supply depots anytime soon. Ah, oh, back into cloak! Oh, one of them can't cloak, he's out cloaking juice! He's down! Oh, this is the worst situation in the world. Don't heal him, heal Tychus! Heal Tychus! Heal Tychus, my wee little SCB friend! This is about to, this wraith is about to go out of cloak, which is very, very unfortunate. But he's also about to take down that uh that um battle cruiser. They're down. Tychus is being healed because the SCV is still alive, so that's good. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Yeah, whatever you say, Tychus. Amazingly, the, the main way that we're helping him right now is having three SCVs on him rather than actually 
Helping him from a, a combat perspective, to say the least. Okay, so now we've actually got rates coming out from two different sources. That's going to be immensely helpful for us, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take down the rest of these air units. Oh god, not another nuclear launch! Uh, I'm pretty sure you're the one in in a uh, prepared for a world of pain, Tychus. If that oh no 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 he did the nuclear launch. Oh Tychus, you rock so much. Good work, buddy. Mission accomplished. Everything secured. Uh, we actually got him healed pretty well at the end too. Excellent. With the Odin secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll dress old Tychus with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tychus. Oh, Lord! I don't like missions to Tychus. I don't like them at all. He's not a very, very fun man in the least. <laughs> He's too battle-hungry! I'm glad we killed the Loki, though. That's all that matters. Destroy the Loki. Um. Oh, just destroy it. That, that's all that we needed for that. Kicking Asgard. That's pretty funny. I like that a lot. Let's see what's up next. If, um, if Tychus actually isn't betraying us at this point, let's see if he's actually, uh, going to betray us in this cutscene here. Well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. Ah, uh, Tychus, I want to love you so much, bro, but I just can't trust you at all! Like, <laughs> there is absolutely no way he is not going to betray us before too- or betray us before too long. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching! If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer! And I will see you all next time!